last night. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another night of Astros baseball. Todd Callis alongside Jeff Blum. We'll hear from Julia Morales in just a little while. And Blummer, after a tough road trip, especially losing five in a row, coming off that road trip, a nice start to this homestand. Yeah, home sweet home for these guys. It is a nice start. Again, these are teams in the Giants and Mariners. They have to go out and beat these teams if they expect to uh, compete in the American League West. Astros got out to a quick start last night. They would send 14 men to the plate in the first inning. And when you compare what they did this year to last year, similar numbers in run scoring, but some differences how they get there. Yeah, they're doing it a little bit differently. I expected that on-base percentage to be much higher this season, but they are just finding ways to push runs across the board. And I expect those numbers to rise with Jordan in the middle of that lineup because we keep talking about depth and how it creates such a tough decision for what these pitchers are going to try and go out and attack these hitters with. Jordan shows up last night and our get out and play presented by Toyota makes an immediate impact in the lineup. Of course he does. And the Astros go out and do Astro type things. They find some holes. They get some base hits. They put pressure on the defense. We saw three errors and all of a sudden you've got traffic on the base pass and guess what? Big man steps up and drives one out the other way and the Cuban connection connects for back to back home runs last night. So it was a lot of fun. There was electricity in that lineup and you saw a little extra pep in the step when guys were getting to the plate. And of course Martin Maldonado continuing to put a great numbers in that risky situation. Yeah, nine runs in the first inning, matching a franchise record, third time in team history they've done that. And Josh Reddick continues to like that two hole. He had two hits in that first inning, and the Astros were out in front with Cruz to an 11-1 victory last night. When we come back, all systems are go offensively for the Astros. At least last night they were. They're hoping to continue it tonight with Alex Bregman, Jordan Alvarez, and others contributing, including. Highest level, but what did you learn about Javier after that last start in Oakland? I appreciate it, Julia, and I learned that Javier relies a lot on his fastball. If the opposing team is getting to that fastball and they're starting to drive it a little bit, that doesn't leave him many options. The secondary pitch that is best for him is that slider. You can see he tried to go to that curveball and the changeup. Just those pitches were not being effective for him because the fastball was unable to be set up. It might have had a little bit to do with delivery. I think there was a little bit of a drop in the in the release point that allowed that fastball to be seen a little bit sooner. We'll see if he gets more behind the baseball tonight and creates that deception again that he had in those two great starts against L.A. and Arizona. To see the numbers on Javier, his one relief appearance came against the Mariners in game two of this season before he moved against them in his major league debut on the 25th. J.P. Crawford will lead off at shortstop, followed by Dylan Moore. Same top five in the lineup for the Mariners. Kyle Lewis, their sensational rookie, hits third. Kyle Seeger's been on a roll in that cleanup spot. Austin Nola back behind the plate. Daniel Vogelback gets a start as the DH. And Shed Long will bat seventh and play second base. Evan White at first base hitting eighth. And Malik Smith will be in the outfield and right field and bat ninth. Speaking of the outfield, here's tonight's starting Astros defense presented by Xfinity. Kyle Tucker starts again with Michael Brantley going on the injured list. Tucker starting his 17th consecutive game. He'll be in left field. George Springer back in center and Josh Reddick is in right. Alex Bregman and Yuli Gurriel have started all 20 games for the Astros. Carlos Correa and Jose Altuve have started 19 of the 20. And Martin Maldonado behind the plate. He has started 17 of the Astros. The evening, George Springer in the leadoff spot, followed by Josh Reddick. Reddick in that two spot with a five-game hitting streak. Those numbers pretty impressive. Alex Bregman will hit third. Jordan Alvarez, the DH. Yuli Gurriel right behind him. The Cuban connection had back-to-back -back home runs last night. Carlos Correa, then Jose Altuve in the seventh spot for the first time since his rookie year. Kyle Tucker and Martin Maldonado. Left-hander Nick Markavichus. Yes! <laughs> is on the mound for the Seattle Mariners. This will be his second start. He got that first start last time out against Colorado. Only went three and a third. 